come the stars, come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. Good morning. They're still scared of me. Trying to tell them that I'm their friend. There goes another one. Hey, good morning. <laughs> She's like, nah, not today. Not again, not again. The neighbor next door feeds them every single day. And the raccoons at night come and like literally eat the whole pile. There was like three raccoons at night one time. Savages. Now there's four. The gang's all here. <laughs> Cat squad. I don't know how well you can hear me over the air conditioner, but I figured today I'd pick up the camera and do some vlogging. I saw a few recipes on Instagram, like reels that I wanted to try. One of them is a matcha Greek yogurt which is not revolutionary, you just basically mix matcha powder into Greek yogurt and then whatever toppings you want, and enjoy with some maple syrup. And then the other one's like a chickpea one. It has some chickpeas and artichokes. So I wanna try that as well. Just kinda like, I don't know, vlog little tidbits throughout the day. So let's start off with some yogurt bowls. I keep my matcha powder in the fridge. It keeps it, supposedly keeps it fresher longer in this jar here. And I get mine on Amazon. I actually got a restock soon. And it is the brand Encha. It's like a latte grade matcha. Really good in my opinion. I really like it. I had my husband pick up some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt yesterday. And then I'm gonna do blueberries, strawberries, we have raspberries, we have mango, and then she mixes in some maple syrup into the yogurt to give it some sweetness. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sometimes hides behind the clouds. Okay, Maybe let's give this a try. I feel like you can't really taste the matcha. It's really good though. Like the fruits, the fresh fruits, the maple syrup, even drizzled, drizzled some on top. The crunch of the granola. I used coconut chia. Got it in Aldi. Really good. Today's supposed to be a really nice day out, so I want to spend as much time outside as possible, especially since it looks like it's going to rain majority of next week. But I wanted, maybe we'll go to the pool, since there's a pool here. I wanted to share a recipe for a brown sugar shaken espresso at home. So easy, I didn't come up with it, I found it online, I just looked up brown sugar syrup Starbucks recipe. So easy to make, you just basically take... I'm gonna be using this and doing like a stovetop method and you put in equal parts brown sugar with water then also add in a cinnamon stick if you don't have a cinnamon stick you could add cinnamon simmer it for about eight ten minutes and once it's cooled take out the cinnamon stick add in some vanilla extract put it in a mason jar and then store it in the fridge and then you could do um, brown sugar shake and espressos at home and I'll show you how to do that as well it's so easy and it's probably my all-time favorite um, like flavored syrupy type drink I've ever tried like I, I've tried different kind of um, syrups and caramel and all this stuff And I feel like this one is definitely probably my all-time favorite so so easy I'll link the recipe that I found on Google, but I just wanted to share because it's so good and it's so easy I have my brown sugar here Do equal parts brown sugar with water Oops, wow, it's giving me anxiety Okay, then bring it to a boil and then once it starts boiling just let it turn it down to a simmer let it simmer for about eight minutes and let me add in my cinnamon stick as well I totally forgot that you can keep the cinnamon stick in the mason jar when you put it in the fridge if you want more of like a cinnamony flavor she takes it out and I take it out but you know you do you the brown sugar syrup cool down a bit it's still a little bit warm but what you do is you can take out the cinnamon stick and then just pour it into a, I use a mason jar and store it in the fridge. Actually, I forgot to add, first add your vanilla extract. Nope, oh, that's everything. And then just pour it in a mason jar and store it in the fridge. Easy as that. So this I'm going to store in the fridge. And then this I'm going to use for my espresso right now. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring? When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder it's so hot in here So hot Can't even sit on the seat Okay, but we're actually gonna go to a I think they're a rescue shelter And from 1 to 3 p.m. They have um, cats I don't know the details My husband stopped by the place yesterday I think he said between 1 to 3 p.m. 
They're gonna have kittens for adoption, so we wanna go just kittens. We need kittens. check some out to see. Kittens. So we'll go to the pool after that since it's already 12, 15. We're gonna drive up there and see what's going on with those kittens. We were at, I think it was PetSmart or Petco, and they had these two Pet super cute fluffy Pet kittens. Smart. It was PetSmart, and they were, um, I think they were part of the Galveston Rescue Shelter. They were sisters. Autumn. There was Autumn and Jelly Bean, but somebody already adopted them. They were like six months old. So, so, so cute. Lighting is probably not that great, but we're hanging out by the pool now. We stopped by, um, it was like a local pet store, and I guess on Saturdays from one to three, I don't know if it's every Saturday, they have the local, it's called, here, let me look, I look, up, let me look up the website so I can get it, the right name. It's Gulf Coast Tiny Paw Rescue, and they're an all-volunteer foster home-based cat and dog rescue in the Gulf Coast area. You can adopt cats or dogs. There was one beautiful Siamese cat. Uh, he was very skittish. Like as soon as they took him out of the cage to put him in the little room where you can like play with him, he literally skedaddled and ran away. And it took like 10 minutes to try and catch him. It reminded me so much of Pepper. That's why we left Pepper with my parents because my biggest fear is like right now we're traveling full time. So my biggest fear is is that kids always leave the door open. Like having them close the door is such. I have to remind them like a million times to close the door on the RV. And like, let's say he runs outside and then, what is that? It's like trying to bite me. My biggest fear is he runs outside and then we're in a new area, we'll be leaving, we can't find him, like all of the above. So we just left him with my parents. It's like the best scenario until we get a house and he has like a more stable home because his temperament, he's very, very skittish. So RV life just wouldn't be well good for him. It's just, I already know. Um, but they had so many cute cats and dogs. Like so tempting to adopt one. I wish I could adopt all of them. I uh, just kind of stopped by there. And now we're home, hanging out by the pool. I came here with all three kids. Now I just have Eloise here. The other two on to go back because they say the water's too cold. Getting acclimated to this Texas weather because when we first came here, they were like, no problem swimming in the pool. So I'm just gonna lounge here a bit with Eloise, let her swim, and then probably go back and do like that chickpea thing that I talked about earlier. In the all right, you probably won't be able to hear me too well over the air conditioner. It is so hot outside, so we have the two air conditioners running, but I have my all of my ingredients here prepped for this recipe that I want to try. It is like a, she, she says in the recipe notes that it's kind of like spinach artichoke dip, but like the full meal version. So I'm going to try it out. I have my spinach, my Greek yogurt, Parmesan, artichoke hearts, chickpeas, basically everything. I'll link the recipe down below. Um, if you guys, if it ends up being good, you guys want to try, try it out, I'll let you know. I have these left over from every plate. I used to do every plate ever so often. Right now we're traveling, so I'm not really doing it. But I have like these leftover quinoas, and you need one cup of quinoa, which is perfect, because each one has half a cup. You add in two cups of vegetable broth. I have two cups here that I used from like a chicken stock concentrate, the ones in the jar, they're so good. I think that you can find them at Walmart. These right here, you keep them in the fridge, um, and then leave a little bit, like a teaspoon, for the artichokes. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit in there for the artichokes, and let this boil until it's done. I already preheated my oven, and I'm gonna put rinsed chickpeas. These are also from every plate. So I saw the recipe, and I was like, perfect. I basically have everything. I'm gonna rinse these, and you base you bake them in the oven for 20-30 minutes with some parmesan cheese and salt and pepper. Yeah, it makes me wonder.
just like walking across my mirror. No idea where that stink bug went. Oh, there it is. It's like climbing on the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it. Nice try. I ain't messing around with these stink bugs anymore. We're so used to having them that I'm not even phased by them anymore. Took a shower, put product in my hair, and while my hair kind of air dries a little bit, I want to go ahead and do my lashes, just have them ready for Sunday. You'd like to give them a little bit of a break, like a day or two or three in between sets. Sometimes they'll go even longer. It's another stink bug. What the heck? We literally see at least a few every single day. Every single day. Ever since we started traveling from like when we met them in Pennsylvania and Ohio, non-stop. They're just basically part of our travels now. I wanted to apply some lashes. I used the Flutter Set Multi-Day, what is it called? Multi-Day Bond Remover, which you can use to remove your lashes or any makeup that you have on. So I'm going to use this to remove my mascara. And then I'm going to use the Magic Primer to get rid of any excess oils and prep my eye area. My kids are watching random YouTube videos, so if you hear anything, that's what it is. Uh, the quinoa artichoke, spinach artichoke thing, it was good. Definitely tasted exactly like spinach artichoke dip, but like a healthier version. And then the quinoa, um, it was interesting. I feel like it was like a little bit too creamy, too much of a dip. Even with the quinoa to be kind of like a full-blown meal, so... But it was good, it was good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna use Daydream Lashes from my like street. I have some in 14 and 12. And then because I don't, they don't come in 10 millimeters, I'm gonna use like random ones from Flutter Set. These are Style Day from Flutter Set and use like a 10 millimeter for the inner corner. I have my whole stash of glues here. Let's use the Flutter Set glue. Why not, since we're using some Flutter Set. I have the li li Lilac straight one. I haven't used that in a while. Maybe I'll use that instead. Here we go, this is the original glue, not the pro one, but the original one. This glue does take a little bit of time to get tacky. Actually no, it kind of has a pretty decent grip after like 10 seconds, so not bad. So that's a 14, now I'm going to do some 12s. Alright, so I did a 14 two 12s and then really overlapped some 10s. I don't like applying them too close to the inner corner because I feel like that's where a lot of irritation can happen. Um, like poking and stuff. I tried closing the shade, but even then lighting in here right now just because of the way that the sun is, it's so bad. But here's what the lash map looks like. So again, 14, some 12s and two 10s. I like the daydream. They're not like my favorite favorite, but they're nice. And I also blow dry the hair using the shark and then I remembered I had some clip-ins so I was like let me see if they match my hair right now because I've been itching to um, get tape-ins but I don't want to get tape-ins because I'm trying to take care of my hair. So I was like let me pull out the clip-ins that I have. They're from the brand Loxy and I put them in just like without even teasing the hair or anything just to see if they would match and I feel like they match really well. So I have one, two, three, four pieces. And these are the seamless clip-ins. So they have um, like that PU seamless clip-in weft. I've talked about them before where I would like add pieces in the side for extra volume. And I feel like I might be able to get away with these once I, once I curl them and style them, which I just put them in without teasing the hair or anything. So they could like slip right out, but I just wanted to see if they would match. I'm gonna try curling them and see how they look curled. The nice thing with clip-ins is that you can take them out whenever you want. Like you can wear them for a photo shoot, you can wear them for a few hours, um, and then you just take them out like to church, whatever. You don't, you don't have to like commit to having extensions in your hair, and I feel like they're a safe, safer option. If you're not constantly wearing them, I feel like they're a safer option for finer, thinner hair. If you want like volume here and there, if you're wearing them for like eight hours at a time, then I don't know, but I'm kind of surprised with how well they blend with the hair. Obviously this is like a dead giveaway right here. <laughs> um, but I'm going to curl it and usually once it's curled it's like less noticeable. So let me turn on my T3 here. I'm using, I think this is a medium sized barrel. I could be wrong because I think the largest one is a little thicker than this. Yeah, I think this is a medium one. I'm going to go through and just like curl, give like, do very loose curls. This one already like came out because I like didn't put it in right all the way. I like I barely clipped it in, like I didn't even tease the hair. I just wanted to see if it was a good color match. And usually clip-ins last longer 
than like tape and extensions because you're not wearing them all the time you're not showering with them you're not blow drying them for the most part like i don't usually wash my clip-ins since i don't usually apply product or hairspray or anything to it i'll just clip them in curl them and that's as far as i'll go with that so for me clip-ins last a lot longer but if you sound like my sister she doesn't like clip-ins because they make her scalp itch for me i don't have that issue but if you're like super sensitive then you probably they might bother you and you might not like them but they've been around since like the dawn of time as like an option for extensions okay this was just like a quick curl I don't know, I really like it. I feel like it looks very natural, especially since I didn't, didn't use all of them. I have um, I have a blunt, my hair is kind of blunt right now, so usually if you have like wispier ends, then it blends in better. Um, it's harder to blend like choppy ends, but I feel like this blended actually quite well and looks very believable, like this could be my hair. Like I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Let me show you guys the back. Well, let me see the back for myself, first of all, because that could be really bad for all I know. No, there's like one piece, like right here, somewhere, that it's kind of like, mm. I'm kind of happy with how these look, let me know what you guys think. So this is again, this is from Loxy, and I did mention them before, and these are the 16 PU clip-in in shade 860. Okay, I feel like this angle and lighting is a lot better, but here's the back here. I feel like it's a pretty good blend, like it's believable, you know, it doesn't look choppy or anything like that, like I feel like it kind of has like that gradient blend going and it blends in fairly well here's what the extensions look like so they have like that rooted look and again the pu weft is super super thin so they're great for a fine thin hair because it kind of sit flat against the head and it kind of goes into an ombre balayage type really blonde so i didn't think that they would match because my hair is not really it's kind of like a golden yellow right now it's not this and it's not this but usually with blonde, especially if it's like a highlighted extension or if it's like a gradient extension, they kind of morph into blending in your hair. It's really interesting. So later in the day, my husband went fishing with Josiah. I'm probably going to go walk up to them. We just took a little walk. Um, we're probably going to go walk up to them with the girls, make myself a, a one-shot espresso. I got these cute little cups and I mentioned them in a vlog. I haven't posted the vlog yet, so I don't know which one's gonna see youtube first but i got them on amazon and they're mainly for tea they're really nice because they have like this textured um feel to them and then they have like these speckles inside i don't know very cute they're six ounces so they're perfect for a one shot espresso drink in my opinion i got these that i use all the time for like a morning cappuccino and these are i think 10 ounces they're from amazon as well and i love them but a lot of times I don't finish my latte. Like this morning, I didn't finish my latte. Usually I'll drink about half of it. So these are perfect because I just add one shot espresso in here. I'll do the one shot option. And then a little bit of steamed milk. And it's like the perfect for me, for me personally. So it depends, personal preference. But for me, it's perfect. So I've been loving these right here. But I'm going to make one right now and then walk over to my husband. And the sun is setting, so it'll be like perfect. I dumped all the other coffee beans that were in there. And I wanted to mention some of my all-time favorite coffee beans. So we're from originally from New York, sold our house. And we are all traveled all the way down to Texas. So we traveled through quite a few states getting here to Texas. And along the way, we like to try different coffees. Like we'll try to find places that roast their own coffee. And like a grab a bag and some of them have been really good some of them not so great and still my all-time favorite is this one here it's a husband and wife they have a small business and they roast their own coffee beans and it's called holler coffee you can buy them online that's how i got them shipped here and specifically the Durberg blend. So I personally love notes of like nutty, graham cracker, sometimes chocolate, like a little bit of sweetness with a little bit of like a cookie, biscuity type under um, note. These are definitely very like biscuity type notes and I just absolutely love it. Out of all the ones that we have tried so far, I mean, we, there's so much coffee out there, obviously. I'm not like a coffee connoisseur or anything like that, but I just really, really like this blend. And they roast it like pretty fresh, ship it to you. It took like, I ordered it on a Monday, it came here on a Wednesday. It's always super, super fast. And you can shop it online. So I'll leave their website below because I absolutely love, 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 love this roast. It's just, it's like the perfect biscuit graham cracker notes in a coffee. If you love that, I think you will absolutely love these. So I'm going to fill the hopper with these. And then when it comes to an espresso machine, there is nothing like using fresh beans. Woo! My camera almost just fell over. I feel like fresh beans make such a huge difference. 
especially in like the crema and how it flows and all that. Wait, my husband's texting me. Don't tell me that he's going to be walking back. Watch him like tell me he's coming back as soon as I'm about to join him. Why? Oh, he caught three fish. Wow. So cute. I'm going to tell him I'll be there soon. Be there soon. I'm making a coffee. Oh, it's just like, it's like heaven. Like my heaven is definitely going to smell like coffee. I already know. And I still like my espresso machine. This one's from Casa Brews. I found out based off of somebody commented, I did a review on this espresso machine and somebody said I should check out, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? He has a YouTube channel and he's like, definitely knows his coffee stuff. Uh, Hoffman? No, is it Hoffman? No, that's Hoffman. Okay, I mean, that's piano. James Hoffman, is it? Oh my god, it is James Hoffman. Okay, because they follow Hoffman Academy and they do like um, piano classes for kids. But he did a review on the LD version of this that they were selling, I think, in the UK. And that one was selling for like under $300 and he absolutely hated it. I don't know the mechanics behind like how this coffee machine works, how this espresso machine works. He thought it was absolutely awful. I don't know all of that, so I can't say. I have tried a uh, Breville at my brother-in-law's house, Breville, and I tried this, and I feel like if you have really good coffee beans, like if you have sucky coffee beans, even a Breville will not be able to help you. Like if they're stale, they're old, the crema's not going to be there. We have tried all sorts of coffee machines, all sorts of coffee beans with his Breville because we've stayed there for like two months with them. So if you have sucky coffee beans and you don't have the right, like you don't tune it correctly, like if your grind size and all of that is off, then you know, you're going to end up with not the best espresso. I do have to tweak this every time I get a new roast, like the settings are not automatic. I'll, like for example, if I use up all of these and I put in a new roast, those settings might not, you know, be the same for that roast. I don't know if you guys are following along. But if I do get the settings right for the roast and the roast is fresh, then I feel like this machine does a pretty good job. I do feel like the espresso runs through pretty quickly, even if I get all the settings right. So it can be a little bit frustrating in that aspect, but I don't know. Like, can my... It makes me wonder if this coffee can be even better. Um, because I have ordered this coffee to my brother-in-law's house. I've ordered uh, Utica coffee, like all the coffees that I loved. I ordered them to my brother-in-law's house when we were staying there. They tasted similar. Maybe I'm just not like a super expert, although I am pretty picky about like... Like, I will know if it's like a bad roast and I don't like it and it's like not that good and it's not fresh. I'm pretty picky in that aspect, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not picky enough. So, I don't know. I like it. I probably wouldn't pay $600 for this machine after finding out that it kind of seems like it's a generic model. I'm going on like a rant here. I'm sorry. But I just wanted to specify because I did do a review on this machine. So, I wanted to like update my thoughts on it. So, again, I don't know the mechanics behind how it runs. I don't think that Casa Brews made this machine. I think they... Just basically slap their name on it that's what it seems like considering ld was literally selling the exact same model i think they called it the ambiano or something for much less so if for like 400 four to 500 i probably would buy this machine but if you are a little more advanced and you want to spend a couple more hundred dollars then i feel like might as well just get the breville barista at that point those are just my thoughts but anyway that's like my little rant so i'm gonna make actually my, my husband wanted a coffee too so i'm gonna make him one as well and then i'm gonna go join him but i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out i've been liking vlogging lately because i feel like with vlogs i can i could talk about random stuff this vlog went from instagram recipes to like hair extensions to coffee talk and like it's like all over so vlogs are nice because you can like share just like random stuff in a vlog and like smush it all in there all this random information and, but I do still like to do dedicated videos. Like if I, there's a specific nail product I want to review, I like doing dedicated videos for that. So I've been liking both, um, but I have been enjoying vlogs lately. So I hope you guys have too. And thank you guys for hanging out. And hopefully I'll see you guys very, very soon. I just wonder. It really makes me wonder.